Hey guys, I am the Polish Daniel. Welcome to this little video. This will be a little vlog rant uh, update video. Call it what you want to call it. Uh, so anyway, this will answer some questions for those, those people who maybe don't know who I am uh, because uh, they're new on the channel or maybe want to know why I have switched to stream in English. So I have a, for a long time wanted to stream in English. I actually started by streaming in English back in the day for like two years ago. I was very unexperienced at the time and I was more comfortable like talking Danish, I guess. So I, I, I after some time I switched to Danish again and I uh, started playing Rocket League and streaming that and I grew one of the biggest like Rocket League Danish channels on, on, on Twitch. Um, but I feel like recently that I have really stagnated and I don't really feel like I, I fit into the Danish Twitch market. In my opinion, the Danish Twitch viewers are, are mostly very young and mostly Danish gamers want to see what they used to see. Like they are not so much uh, into the whole variety streaming thing. And it is not a bad thing, like, this is not meant like a diss or anything, I just think that that's how it is in Denmark, that people want to see uh, stuff like CSGO, League of Legends, Overwatch, Rocket League, like the big things. It, it, it's not like the trends are starting in Denmark, they are more ending in Denmark, right? So if something goes uh, big or, or there's a lot of esports behind it, then it's popular in Denmark, but like small games maybe on the Nintendo Switch or maybe just small single player games or indie games for that matter are not that uh, like not that popular to in Denmark and and Danish gamers are more focused on the big esports than they are on small uh, fun titles or what you want to call it so that's what I want to play and I always want to to try a lot of different games like a lot of different MMOs MOBAs uh, racing games and stuff like that and it's not always so easy to have like a following on these games when you are restricted to only speak Danish so that's why I wanted to try to stream in English because I feel like I'm not fitting in on this small Danish market that I would have hopefully a, a much larger um, success and viewership if I was streaming in English. So that's what I want to try to do this summer. So I just ended my university degree, uh, a bachelor's degree in computer science and I have a summer vacation now before I start on my master's degree and I have some time to spend. So that's why I want to do like an all English stream summer and I really, really hope that you will support me in that. I hope that you will watch my streams and all that. I will try to set up some for, so, sort of schedule so you can follow when I will st be streaming. But other than that, just tune in on my Twitter or Facebook or something like that. And I will keep you updated. If you tune in on the Twitch channel, I can give you my Snapchat as well. Where I do uh, post out Snapchats whenever I go live. So if you have any, any questions about the stream, about me or something like that, please do tell me. <laughs> I really, this is really a big opportunity, or it is a big chance for me to take actually, because I know that there's a lot of my Danish viewers that will stop watching me. But I hope that um, some of them will come back or uh, we make new ones. Um, I understand that people don't want to watch me. Oh my goodness. I understand that people want to watch what they want to watch like they, they they are allowed to choose if they want to watch Danish streams they are allowed to choose that if they uh, are okay and fine by listening to my broken English then I hope that they will still support me but I have no hard feelings against those people that will stop watching me regularly because it is a big switch and it is not easy to uh, understand a new language for me, it's a little bit of a different thing. I was born in Poland, so I know Polish. I moved to Denmark, so I know Danish, and English is just a a second language to me. I don't know why, because I think it's because of all the games and movies and, and series I watched through my whole life. And I think I just have a brain for languages because English just came to me before I even went to school with it. So, and I think that's actually the thing with most, most gamers. But I really, really hope that people will uh, tune in. And if you have any questions, do tell me. This was quite of a rant, actually. I don't know where I'm going right now. But uh, 
I really just hope that you will tune in and say hi. So, tune in and say hi. Follow my Twitter or Facebook or something like that to check out my schedule. I hope I will be posting a link below my stream. My stream is The Polish Dane. My Twitter is The Polish Dane. My Facebook is The Polish Dane. And my YouTube here is The Polish Dane. My Instagram is not and my Snapchat is not, but you can check that out if you come by the stream. And I will be posting some sort of a schedule. I'm hoping to stream um, almost every day. And I'm hoping to do like 50 or 60 days of English streaming. Uh, before we uh, find out if it will be a success of a, or a failure. So uh, please do tune in. And uh, I, I really, really hope to see you there. So yeah, uh, this is a um, big chance for me to take. But I'm taking it because I know that I will hate myself in the future if I didn't try it out. Like if I if I'm in, in two years just thinking back, what if I try to stream, stream in English? So, so I'm trying this. I hope you will uh, watch it. And yeah, see you around. Bye guys. I need someone to play with by the way. So come by the stream. If I'm playing a game you also play and you don't mind talking English, please do come by the stream and uh, yeah, tell me if you have a good mic and then we can maybe play together, okay? Yeah, bye guys. Be good.